how you should start with the bat up or bat down which one stay tuned for this uh, you will see a lot of elite players baseball players professional players good players some of them a lot of them start like this with the bat up or another one to start with the bat down Obviously, we're looking for being comfortable. How will you feel comfortable now? But at the same time, I'm looking for a good mechanic. What I mean about that? Connection and quickness. I'm not looking for being long and slow. If you start like this and you don't have strength and you don't have no control and you're gonna start swinging, you're probably gonna start disconnecting and the bat is gonna go crazy. Now, if you show me that you are in control when you're moving, when you're getting your swing, that you're staying connected as you're swinging, I stay, I stay like this, I stay quiet. If I see all that when the kid is hitting like this or the player is hitting like this, the adjustment that I will do, I will make sure he keeps his bat closer to his shoulder. He can start like this and slowly pick it up a little bit. And now it's like cutting my head a little bit right here, the barrel. I will make sure he's gonna have more connection because now he's closer to the destination that I want. It's gonna be quicker and more connected right here. You see, he'll be more here because now he's already starting connected and short. All right, sometimes it's age, sometimes it's strength, sometimes it's just control or like a comfortable thing, how you wanna start. If the kid gonna hit like this, or like Christian say, connection, but this barrel, this knob, is gonna end up turning to second base, second baseman, so you can allow yourself to stay connected and then you bring him behind the ball. If you kid start over here and pick it up a little bit, it's the same motion. You go back and up to second base and then follow through. It doesn't matter what, the destination of your barrel, the barrel pad in the right bat pad, it should be to second base. If the kid is not strong enough, stop it. Keep it here, simple, and try to bring the right turn. And up to second base, barrel working behind your shoulders and then everything will work through a back leg and everything will bring the barrel through the zone, okay? The goal is just trying to get the barrel early in the zone, long through the zone, without losing connection. If your kid don't have connection, put it right here, pick it up a little bit, just make sure that high connection is there so he got more time to the ball travel and he can make better decisions and he can be more quick. The reason that a lot of people have the bat up or stuff like that. Sometimes it's because they create a little bit more whip. The bat had to go back to create a little bit the positive energy to get early in the song and behind the ball. You can still have the bat right here and it's still creating whip behind the ball and create that bat behind your shoulder and get through it. Now, if the kid gets stronger with time, the kid gets stronger with time and then slowly he start getting the bat up and he got control and connection, let it work. But if not, put the bat right there and try to work connected from back here, okay? If you like this, subscribe, like. See you next video. Thank you.